chapter 26. For the courses of the doorkeepers of the Korhi, Meshelamiah, the son of Kor, of the sons of Asaph, and Meshelamiah had sons, Zachariah, the firstborn, Yariael, the second, Zabadiah, the third, Yathniel, the fourth, Elam, the fifth, Yachanan, the sixth, Eli Akonai, the seventh, and Obed Edom had sons, Shemaiah, the firstborn, Yokosabad, the second, Yoach, the third, and Sekar, the fourth, and Nethanel, the fifth, Amiel, the sixth, Issachar, the seventh, Peuletati, the eighth, for God blessed him. Also unto Shemaiah his son were sons born that ruled over the house of their father, for their for they were mighty men of valor, the sons of Shemaiah, Othni, and Raphael, and Obed, and Elzabad his brethren, valiant men, Elihu also, and Semachiah. All these were of the sons of Obed Edom, they and their sons and their brethren, able men in strength for the service, three score and two of Obed Edom. And Meshelamiah, had sons and brethren, valiant men, eighteen. Also, Kosal, of the children of Merari, had sons, Shimri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him chief, Hilkiah the second, Tabaliah the third, Zachariah the fourth, all the sons and brethren of Kotsal were thirteen. These courses of the doorkeepers, even the chief men, had wards over against their brethren to minister in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots as well as the small as the great, according to their father's houses, for every gate. And the lot eastward fell to Shelemiah. Then for Zachariah his son, a discreet counselor, they cast lots, and his lot came out northward to Obed-Edom southward, and to his sons the storehouse, to Shupam and Kotsah westward by the gate of Shalakate, at the causeway that goeth up, ward against ward, eastward were six Levites, northward for a day, southward for a day, and for the storehouse two and two, for the precinct westward four at the causeway and two at the precinct, these were, the, these were the courses of the doorkeepers of the sons of the Korahi, of the sons of Marari, and of the Levites. Ahiah was over the treasuries of the house of God, and over the treasuries of the hallowed things. The sons of Ladan, the sons of Gershoni, belonging to Ladan, the heads of the father's houses, belonging to Ladan, the Gershoni. Yaki Eli, the sons of Yaki Eli, Zetham. And Yoel, his brethren, over the treasuries of the house of the Lord, of the Amrami, of the Iskari, of the Hebroni, of the Utsili, Shubiel, the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was ruler over the treasuries. And his brethren, by Eliatzar, Rechabiah, his son, and Jeshaiah, his son, and Joram, his son, and Zikri, his son, and Shelomit, his son, this Shelomit and his brethren were over all the treasuries of the dedicated things, which David the king and the heads of the father's houses, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and captains of hosts, had dedicated. Out of the spoil won in battles did they dedicate to repair the house of the Lord, and all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zeruiah, had dedicated. Whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shelomit, and his brethren, of the Iskari, Kananiah, and his sorts, were for the outward business over Israel, for officers and judges. And of the Hebroni, Koshavia, and his brethren, men of valor, a thousand and seven hundred, had the oversight of Israel beyond the Jordan, westward, for all the business of the Lord and for the service of the king. Of the Hebroni was Yeriah, the chief, even of the Hebroni, according to their generations by the fathers' houses, in the fortieth year of the reign of David, 
they were sought for, and they were found among them mighty men of valor at Yetzer of Gilead. And his brethren, men of valor, were two thousand and seven hundred heads of the father's houses, whom King David made overseer over the Rubini and the Gadi and the half tribe of the Manasseh for every matter pertaining to God and of and for the affairs of the king. All right, let's go back up to verse one, and we're continuing in this we this setting up of the positions, these these wards as they're called, these these positions that are, are being uh, placed in order according to the way the house of God's going to run. Of course, Solomon hasn't built it yet, but this is the way it'll be done, and they are gathering all the dedicated things, these things even that are dedicated, all these things that do belong to God. And we're going to pick this up here in verse 1. For the courses of the doorkeepers of the Korahi, Meshelamiah, the son of Kor, of the sons of Asaph. And these are the courses of these doorkeepers. These courses and these, the courses are, would represent the periods of time, This even this period, these, these time frames in which they would operate, or these courses of positions according to their assignment. And these would be for the Korahi, of the Korahi, these these positions would be. And the Korahi are those that are assembled, the assembled. Uh, Meshalamiah, he's the son of Kor. And Meshalamiah is this, it's them that are a piece of God. These And this Shalam, Shalam is this Shalam, even, that peace, that means peace, or peace. It represents that peace covenant of God, even those uh, who are at peace of God had sons. And Meshelamiah was the son of Kor, and Kor was, means to be proclaiming. And this is what that peace covenant of God is claiming. Those, he's the sons of Asaph, the gatherer. We remember Asaph, too, and Meshelamiah. Had sons and Meshelamia, once again, this this peace covenant, we'll say, of God, even those whom are of the peace covenant of God, these this peace of God. He had sons, and these sons are those that go forth, and Zachariah was the firstborn, even in the beginning, those the remembered of God. This is that which was for memory of God, in remembrance of God. Yadiel, uh, the second, Yadiel. Yadiel is to be made known of God. Now, witness, too. See, he's the second. Witness this which is made known of God. Zabariah, the third. That even that which is complete, that which is bestowed by God. Yatniel, the fourth. It's the work of God. Yatniel, this even that will endurance of the mighty one, the ability for this mighty one that God is going to set up. It. It's David over because he is able to endure because God gives him great strength. Three, Elam was the fifth. Elam's the fifth. Yaqanan is the sixth. Eli Onai is the seventh. And this Elam is the fifth. And grace, because grace is eternal. And Elam means eternal. And for God, God's grace is eternal. Yaqanan, it's even God's pity, whom God has pitied, is the sixth. It's the work of man, whom God has had pity on. Elio Nahi, the seventh. It's because perfection, the mighty one, is uh, from God, whom I look for. And Obed Edom has sons. Shemaiah, the firstborn. Yokotabad, the second. Yoach the third, and Sakar the fourth, Nethanel the fifth, and Obed-Edom, we remember Obed-Edom, that's where the Ark of the Covenant had went to when they, when God had reached out in wrath and David wouldn't return it. Obed-Edom is that servant of red, and that red is going to represent this, even the blood in the flesh being made known. It's, it's the similar as violation. 
or sin, this servant of even this that represents this life in the flesh, or this even that to violate the law of God to show sin in the flesh. Shema'ia was the firstborn. Shema'ia is that to listen to God, those that listen to God in the beginning. And Yekotzebad was the second. Now witness Yekotzebad, whom God has endowed, even this one whom God has endowed again. Yoach, God, the God's brother, the God of brother, and this God of brother or God's brother is to be of the same mother, and that means to be of the same understanding, to have one understanding, to make complete even for this work of God, Sakar, and the wages, or that because the wages, there are wages for the labor of five grace, or the fifth would be grace of Nathanel, and Nathanel is that even that which one is given of the mighty one, because grace has come from him. Five. Amiel would be the sixth. It's a card to seven. Pe, peu letai, the eighth, for God blessed him. And Amiel. Amiel is the nations of the mighty one. And it refers to all the nations of the mighty one. And that would be those who would be under the king's rule. He would be the sixth, and that would be the work of man. Seven is Issachar, or the seventh is Issachar. And because there's a just reward, even these wages that we've talked about, this rightful recompense, Issachar, for perfection. And Peu Letati, Peu Letati, would be eight, the eighth, even this new beginning of my work. Peu Letai is my work. Six. Also unto Shemaiah his son were sons born that ruled over the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. And also unto Shemaiah these also would be born these sons unto Obed, Edom, and the servant of the of the red. And Shema'ai is those that listen to God. These are those that listen to God. And his sons, these that go forth from him, these ones that are born from him, that ruled over the house of his father, of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. Seven. Now the sons of Shema'ai, Otni, Raphael, and Obed, and Elzebad, his brethren, valiant men, Elihu also, and Samachia. These sons of Shema'ai, those that listen to God, were Othni. And this is the force of God or the might of God. And uh, Raphael, those that are healed of the mighty one. O and Obed, that's the servant. Elzebad, the mighty one, has endowed whom the Mighty One has endowed, this servant, his brethren, those of like understanding, these valiant men, Elihu also, and Samachia, and Elihu, the Mighty One himself, that's the Mighty One himself, also, and Samachia. Samachia is those that are sustained by God. These are those that are sustained by God. Eight. All these were of the sons of Obed-Edom, they and their sons and their brethren, able men in strength for their service, threescore and two of Obed-Edom. And all these would be the sons of Obed-Edom, even Obed-Edom, that servant of the red, the servant of red, and that is to show the blood in the flesh even. They were all his sons, those that went forth, and those of a like understanding of the same mother, Able men in strength of the service, three score and two, three score, and this was be for the purpose that they would complete the redemption, complete the witness of the law, and two witnessed this servant in the red, this servant of blood. Nine, and Meshalamia had sons and brethren, valiant men. Eighteen, and Meshalamia. My, that peace covenant, those of the peace covenant of God, whom are of this peace covenant of God, had sons and brethren, valiant men. They were 18, and it's for a new beginning in the law, 
even in the law, is this new beginning. 10. Also, Kutsah of the children of Merari had sons. Shimri, the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him chief. And also, Kutsah, Kutsah is that refuge, the refuge of, he's of the children of Merari, he's of those of bitterness, that refuge even of those children of Merari. He had sons, Shimri the chief, and Shimri are, Shimri is those dregs. It's the place of dregs. It's it's like the bottom. He'll, he was the first. He was the chief, the first. Even though he was not born first, his father did make him the chief, the ruler. Eleven, Hilkiah the second, Tabaliah the third, Zachariah the fourth, and all the sons and brethren of Hotzah were 13, and the Hilkiah was the second witness, Kilkiah, this portion of God, Tabaliah, the third, to make it complete, this, those purified of God, Zachariah is the fourth, and to be purified of God means you're going to pass through the fire and the dross is going to be, be removed, these, even the sins of this earth, through transgression of the law, is these, that's what we call sin, for Zechariah are those that are remembered of God. He's the fourth because it's the work of God, this little group that God joins together for to enlarge his flock is with the purpose of it all. All the sons of the brethren of Kutzah were 13. And those would be all the sons, those that would go forth, and those of like understanding even uh, of Kutzah, that refuge, that would be 13, and it's to complete the law, 12. These courses of the doorkeepers, even the chief men, had wards over against their brethren to minister in the house of the Lord. And these courses, these positions of the doorkeepers, and these doorkeepers are those that control those places that go in and out, the door, that's what goes in and out, and these keepers are those ones that control that. Even the chief men, they had positions, these wards, over against their brethren, these of the like understanding, to minister to the house of God. 13, and they cast lots as well, the small as the great, according to their father's houses, for every gate. And they cast lots. They took the draw, so to speak, of their position of what place they would be given. The small is the great. It didn't matter who you were, the head of the house or the least in the house. You took your place, your position, according to your father's houses, at every gate, even at every judgment, for every judgment, even 14. And the lot eastward fell to Shalamiah. Then for Zachariah, his son, a discreet counselor, they cast lots, and his lot came out northward. And the lot eastward, this first lot that they would draw for, fell to Shalamiah. And Shalamiah is that peace covenant of God. See, that would be eastward. That would be the eastward lot that fell. And that is towards the way of enlightenment, towards the way of understanding this peace covenant that God made, even the law God gave in the beginning. That is that covenant of peace. Then for Zachariah, his son, a discreet counselor, they cast lots, and his lot came out north, northward. And for Zechariah, this work, remember, he was the fourth. That was the work of God. His lot came out northward. And that's towards that place of judgment even, where God stores his, all his great treasuries of judgment. Fifteen to Obed-Edom southward, and to his sons, the storehouse. And to Obed-Edom, this servant even, this servant, red, this servant who rep going to represent those who show the blood in the flesh, southward. Southward is always towards that place where God's work can be seen. It's, w it's a witness, the way of witness, I call it. We can see the work of God, This even that parched land, that dry place which God had made long ago. To his sons would be that storehouse, and this storehouse is that place of, of gatherings. It's, it, it means this, uh, this place, I believe the 
King James may say a supum here, and this is what because it refers to that place where the gatherings are brought, all these things that are gathered and stored up are that are dedicated to God. Sixteen to Shupam and Hotsa westward by the gate of Shalaket at the causeway that goes up ward against ward to Shupam. Shupam are means the serpents. It's a plural word for snakes, serpents. Kosa and Kotsa, the that of refuge, westward, and that's that to those that place of the serpent's refuge, westward, that's where the sun goes down, that's towards that way of darkness even. By the gate, that place of judgment of Shadakat, that those that are overcome, even it represents even that which is fell, that which has been brought down. At the causeway, the causeway represents that exalted, that place that's lifted up. It's lifted up and it goes usually between between two things, maybe of water or something like that. A passageway, an exalted way, an exalted way that goes up, even ward against ward, disposition, even against position. 17, eastward were six Levites. Four a day, southward four a day, and for the storehouse two and two, and eastward, eastward towards that way of enlightenment were these six Levites, and this is that work of man that joins northward. Northward is that place of judgment. See, this is where the enlightenment and the work of men join judgment for a day, because it's the work of God in understanding southward for a day because you can even witness the work of God in understanding and for the storehouse two and two this storehouse this place where they bring everything together for God two and two now witness even these two witnesses these two times that God causes you to witness 18 for the precinct westward Four at the causeway and two at the precinct. And for the precinct westward, this precinct, I believe the King James refers it to it as parbar. It is parbar. That's what it, the word is, parbar. And what it refers to is this covered attachment on the gate. And we remember these little covered attachments on the gate. These we call porches. It's a little roof that sticks out over the entry of the gate, and it's not enclosed on the sides. That's what a part butter is. And is at that porch, that which is attached to the judgment, westward towards the way of darkness, the work of God, at that that is lifted up, no witness. That porch that was attached to the judgment, that's the precinct. 19. These were the courses of the doorkeepers, of the sons of the Korahi, and the sons of the Marari, of these courses, these are the positions, these are their places, their appointed times, their, their assignments of the doorkeepers, even those who control those ways that go in and out, of the sons of the Korahi, those that are assembled, even the sons of bitterness. 20. And of the Levites, Ahiyah was over the treasuries of the house of God and over the treasuries of the hallowed things and of the Levites, out of all the Levites, those that joined, Ahiyah, Ahiyah was, the, was over the treasuries of the house of God, over all these treasuries, these things that belong to God, all the, the hallowed things, these things that are holy, these things that are set aside, they belong to God. You can't touch them now. They're dedicated. See, they're God has put a lot of into these, and there is a lot there. Akila is my brother of God, this brother of God, 21. The sons of Ladan, the sons of the Gershini belonging to Ladan, the heads of the father's houses belonging to Ladan, the Gershini, Yaki Eli, these sons of Ladan even, these sons that put in order, even these sons of the Gershini, the exiles, these are their exiles the, that belong to those that put in order, the heads of their father's houses that belong, all these understandings that belong to their father's 
houses, even these things that belong to those that put in order of the exiles. Yaka Ali, Yaka Ali, was those that were swept away of the mighty one, even all those that were swept away by the mighty one. We remember that from Deuteronomy 22. The sons of Yaki Ali, Zetham, and Yoel, his brother, over the treasuries of the house of the Lord. And these would be the sons of Yaki Ali, those that, go, that would, those that go forth from those that are swept away by the mighty one, would be Yoel, his brother. And Joel is God it, over the mighty one. And, and Zetham, Zetham. Is this all of this all of this anointing power that comes from God of the Mighty One, Yoel, his brother, over the treasuries of the house of the Lord? This even those that were over all the treasuries of the house of God. Twenty-three of the Amnami, of the Iskari, of the Hebroni, of the Utsieli. These are those of Amram, of the Amrami. The this is be the plural of the Amram, those even from Amram, and those are the, the, the nations have exalted this, that the nations have lifted up even. They are of the Itzkari, uh, uh, even the Itzkari, that's that a shining oil, I call them the anointed ones, that what the shining oil represents, it comes from the olive. See, Dethem is that olive, that's that anointing power that comes from this glistening oil, this shining oil, the anointed ones, the Hebroni, the Hebroni are those of the association, those of Hebron, those of that association of the Utzieli, and the Utzieli are the, even those of the strengths of the mighty one, even the one whom the mighty one does give strength, 24, Sebuel, the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was the ruler over the treasuries, and Shebuel, those are those are captive of the mighty one. The mighty one is holding them captive. See, they are those, the son of Gershom. Gershom are the exiled, the exiled. And they are the sons of Moses, these ones that went forth from Moses, even the one who was drawn out, this the lawgiver. 25. And his brethren by Eliot, sir, Rechabiah, his son, and Yeshaiah, his son, and Yoram, his son, and Zikri, his son, and Shelomit, his son, and his brethren, by Eliezer, and he would be the, those ones from the same mother or to share the same understanding uh, of Eliezer. And this is the mighty one of support. These are whom the mighty one supports. Rechabiah, his son, those that went forth from Rechabiah even, this would be that which was made wide by God, that widened place of God, Rechab, his son, and Re Yeshaiah, his son. Yeshaiah are those that are saved by God. And Shalomit, his son, those that go forth from Shalomit, even that peace covenant that God gave in the beginning. It's the law, 26. This Shelomit and his brethren were over all the treasuries of the dedicated things, which David the king and the heads of the father's houses, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains over the host had dedicated. And this Shelomit, because there were other Shelomites, but this Shelomit here, he was over, and his brethren, those of like understandings, this Shelomit, even we're going to find out this, that God gave in the beginning, this peace covenant, this one we're talking about, and his brethren, those of like understanding, were over all the treasuries of the dedicated things which David, the king, and the heads of the father's houses, the captains over these thousands, over all these fulfillments, and over all these judgments, and the captains of the hosts had dedicated unto God, unto God, these were dedicated things unto God. 27, out of the spoil won in the battles, did they dedicate to repair the house of the Lord? And out of all the spoils that they took from the battles, as it was the law, they took and they dedicated these things to build the house of God, see, to not to repair it, because at that time it had not yet been built. 28. And all 
that Shamuel, or Samuel, the seer, and Saul, the son of Kish, and Abner, the son of Ner, and Joab, the son of Zeruiah, had dedicated, whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shelomit and of his brethren, and all that Samuel, the seer, and Samuel, we remember him, the, the one who listens to get the mighty one, the seer, the one who understands these visions, and Saul was that desired one, he was the son of Kish, the snarer. And Abner, this father's lamp, the son of the lamp, this one that comes forth from the light, this lamp. And Yoab, that's God, my father, that God is the father the, of the lamp, the son of Zeruiah, those that come forth from this balsam, that healings of God. These are those healings of God, even that balsam. And that balsam is that when you break it, it oozes out that healing power. Whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the works or the hand of shallow meat. And that's that peace covenant that God gave in the beginning. And his brethren, all those of like understandings, born from the same mother, 29, of Itzkari, Kananiah. And his sorts were for the outward business over Israel, for officers and judges. And of the Itzkari, that was, that's those, that glistening oil, that glistening oil, that shining oil, those anointed ones were Kanania and his sorts. Kanania, that shoots forth of God. That's That which shoots forth of God, it's that root or that branch that shoots forth from God. Or the outward business over Israel, or this outward business that God has assigned even over all those that contend with the Mighty One, for officers and judges, for to overseers and judges. That's that peace covenant, 30, of the Heberni, Kashabia, and his brethren, men of valor, 8,700, had the oversight of Israel beyond the Jordan westward, for all the business of the Lord and for the service of the king. And of the Hebroni, these ones of Hebron, that's that those of the association, Kashavia, that's that plan of God. Kashavia is the plan of God, even from the beginning, and his brethren, those of like understandings, even these great men of valor, eight thousand and seven hundred, even for the fulfillment and perfection of judgment had the oversight over Israel, all those that contend with the Mighty One, beyond the Jordan, beyond these waters that descend, even understanding from God, westward towards the ways of darkness, for all the business of the Lord and for all the service of the King, even the one whom God made King. 31. Of the Heberni were Eriyah, the chief, even of the Hebroni, according to their generations by the father's houses, in the fortieth year of the reign of David, they were sought for, and they were found among the mighty men of valor at Yetzir of Gilead. And of these Hebroni, those of the association, was Yeriah. Yeriah is those that were taught of God, those that were taught by God, even in the beginning. The chief, even of the Hebroni, those of the association, according to their generations, according to their period of their father's houses. In the fortieth year of the reign of David, this fortieth, because see, it's the work of God and the law, even the greater understandings, even this reign of David, this reign of the beloved one, this reign of the chosen one, all these were sought for, all these mighty men of valor at yet, sir. Yetzer is that place where they were helped, where they were supported, even where God supported them of Gilead, even those of that place where the stones witness, even those ones from there, 32, and his brethren, those of like understanding, men of valor, were 2,700 that witness now this fulfillment and this perfection and judgment even all the understandings of their father's houses, whom King David made overseers over the Reubeni, and whom King David had made these overseers, and David, that beloved one, that chosen one, I call him, whom 
made overseers over those Rubini, those are those that witness the sun, and the Gadi, that's the troop, those of the troop, and that half tribe of Manasseh. These half tribe of the Manasi and these Manasi are those that cause to forget for every matter pertaining to God and for all the affairs of the king, even all the affairs in which the king commanded according that God had set him over the kingdom. All right, we're going to move forward to chapter 27. Turn and return.